Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just realized I'd never really done a video on eight ways to copy an object. So we're going to go over the, the eight ways. There's at least eight ways. I haven't maybe figured them all out or thought of them. So if you have an object and you control D, and then you can move that over, and it made a copy. And what's so control? What's good about Control D? It'll keep just hitting Control D. And it'll keep spacing them out the same distance that you space the first one out. The second one really doesn't copy, but it does repeat your last command. So to get this to work, if we have a, let's make this circle five inches, and you set your nudge factor to five inches. You're no, sorry your duplicate distance to five inches. When you make a control D, it moves it over five inches. Then you can just go control R and it'll keep making copies because it's repeating the last step. The other way to do it is just to hit the number key plus key on your keypad, not, you know, your numbers up in here. If you have a separate keypad, the numbers right in here, the plus key, so if we take this and hit the plus key and move it over, it made a copy. One reason I use this sometimes and not control D is control D makes a duplicate and then moves it over and you keep it. Every time you hit control D, it moves it over that exact amount. With the plus key, it does it. The plus key is just gonna make a copy and then you can move it manually. Sometimes that's to an advantage. The other way is just to use the space bar and just take your copy and start moving it and then hit the space bar. You see the original still there, but when I let go, it's gone. So if you hit the space bar, it's gonna leave the original. This is pretty handy when you're gonna do some, uh, it's you know, not proportional and not uh, uh, symmetrical objects. So that's hitting the space bar. The other one, which is under edit, and see, I don't have anything selected, so it won't let me copy, is copy and paste. So you can do it here, move it over here, and actually go, go paste. And it'll put it back where it was. Or you can just use control C, control C, move it over here, Control P or control, excuse me, Control V like in Victor to paste it. So it left it there. The other one, transformation docker that I use a lot, it will open up the dockers and go, tr yours is either going to tra say transform or transformation. So we have our circle, our ellipse that we were using. Let's fill it in so you can see a little bit better. Let's make it five inches. And we're going to move this thing six inches on the X axis, which is this, but we want four copies. So we're going to have five of them. We're using the position part of the transformation. Hit apply. It moved six, six inches apart on the five inch disc from the center justified. And we can make, now you see we have six of them because we already had one. That's one thing you've always got to remember. You've got a copy. So if you only want five, you only need to make four copies and you'll have five. This is a really neat way to do it. Uh, the other thing would be step and repeat. So we can go to edit and step and repeat or control shift D. And we're going to take our object and we're going to, this has distance, no offset, offset, and space between. So you can set your offset of six inches and have none down here and if hit apply, it does the same thing as the other one. But what's neat about this one, you can change it to distance between the objects and we want them like a quarter inch apart. Now those objects are a quarter inch apart. And you can do them vertically, horizontally, and, and change them. The other one to me is a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's hard to, 
So I'm holding down the left mouse button and then I click the right mouse button. It leaves it there, wherever you uh, pick, but you need, you've got to hold down your left and then pick the right. So it's using both fingers on the mouse that sometimes for me is a little bit harder. I very seldom, so I'm holding down the left mouse button and then I'm going to click the right mouse button. And you can actually see if we zoom in, or maybe you can see, you'll see a plus sign. So I'm holding it down and there's a plus sign right there. It's going to leave it right there. So there's at least eight ways to make a copy of an object. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.